Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into a big Hermes unboxing. It's not a handbag, but I did just get back from Europe. We visited five cities and I stopped in at least one Hermes boutique in each city. So I thought I would give you like a little chatty unboxing, let you know how my experience was in each city in case you're traveling because I had very different experiences at each boutique. Also picked up a couple of items from the Dubai Mall, the Emirates store. They were two items that I was chasing around Europe and I just couldn't get my hands on them. And by the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload once a week and I would love to have you here. And let's get into my Hermes unboxing and my experience shopping Hermes in Europe. So the first city we stopped in was Zurich and I managed to get one item. I didn't take back boxes for every single item so we're kind of going to be sharing the shoe boxes to unbox but I wanted to give you as much of the experience as I could. I just had too much luggage and I couldn't bring all the boxes. Just to start off with my experience of the store, when you first walk into Zurich, there's someone there, you know, taking names and asking, you know, what do you want to look for today? And so I gave him my list. I said, shoes, belts, um, I think swimwear, and also I'd like to see if you have any bags. He immediately told me, I'm sorry, we don't have any bags or wallets. We're waiting for a shipment on June 1st. This was the end of May when I was there. I said, okay, no problem. I have other things I'd like to get. Um, can I still be added to the list? He said, yes, of course. Go take a look around. Um, the shoes are upstairs if you want to check there first. We waited about 45 minutes for an essay to help us. And I was on the hunt for some colorful summer shoes. So let's get into these beauties. Of course, they come with the Hermes dust bag. And the only pair they had that was kind of in my size, this gorgeous green, but I had to go half a size down because they didn't have my usual size and I knew this was a really hot color this summer. I didn't want to take a chance that I wouldn't see these anywhere else, but these are the Oasis sandals. They have a tiny little heel. I would say this is about like two inches, really comfortable to walk in. I've already worn these, as you can see, they've got some marks on them. But I was on the hunt for these and the yellow at least, and they didn't have the yellow in my size, but what I really liked about the SA in Zurich is I said, you know, I would just love an Oasis or an Oran in a really bright color. So he went to the back, looked for my size, and brought out every color that they had that wasn't a neutral because I told him I didn't want a neutral. Even though I didn't like any of the other colors, I thought that was really nice and helpful that he was giving suggestions. And then I asked him for belts. Now, I bought this strap in the US. I believe I showed this in another video, which I'll link above here. And I was a little naive. I did learn in Zurich that you cannot buy the buckle alone even though you can buy the strap alone. I tried the buckles but the only thing he had was like I think it was like black and a taupe on the other side and I would have only worn the black side so I passed on it but at least I knew the buckle that I wanted. Only ended up walking out with the shoes. Ronnie asked for a couple of things from the guys as well and they just didn't have his size in stock. So after we asked you know for all the things and they were pretty sold out of everything else we asked for I just asked about the bags just to see you know try my luck and he told me a different answer from the guy downstairs. The guy downstairs said they're not getting shipment till the first and he said we don't know when we're getting shipment but we just don't have any wallets or any bags. But overall in Zurich I do think it's a store worth going into because you get to wait inside at least not an outside queue in the hot summer. And I found the essay to be really helpful and just a pleasure to shop with. The city we visited was Frankfurt. This is a super small Hermes store and honestly I'm just gonna you know wrap it up for you. They had nothing I asked for. I went through a long list. Shoes, swimwear, belts, like I, by the time I got to asking for a bag, I was just like, they're not gonna have it, let me just shoot my shot, you know? Like, they literally had nothing in my size. The only colorful shoe they had in my size was like a dark fuchsia slide loafer, or even though they had some bright color shoes on display. Don't think if you're going to Frankfurt, it's really worth taking time out of your vacation to go shopping there. Third city on the trip was Munich, and the Munich store is Stunning. It's huge. They have massive displays. They really have a good variety of items. This is one where I really think it's worth going if you have other items on your list aside from a bag because I'll get into that in just a little bit as to why but if you're looking for shoes or clothes or something you have more of a chance to get something in Munich. I was really satisfied with my shopping experience there because the essay was super nice but even let me actually let me back up. Let me just start from the beginning because it was a little bit weird at first. So they have waiting outside and then they allow a certain number of people in the store to wait inside. So we waited outside maybe like 10 minutes or so and then when we got in the store 
it was almost another hour before an essay came to help us. When the lady finally came over, we started with Ronnie. He had a few shoes and some clothing items he wanted to ask about. Nothing was in his size, so he didn't take anything. That is downstairs in the store. And also my belt size is a men's belt size. It's a 38 mm, so it's the larger size belt. So I asked about the belts downstairs and I happened to find a really beautiful combination that I thought I would use quite a lot, almost just as much as my blue and white combination strap. So it comes in the box like this. You have a separate pouch for the buckle. This is the one I had tried in Zurich and I really liked. I wanted something that wasn't the big, huge, giant H because in the 38 mm belt size, the big H is really more of a men's looking belt and it's quite big and chunky. So I wanted something more like thin and feminine that I could wear with dresses and trousers as well. And for the belt, I picked up the classic Hermes orange and a shiny black on the other side. So now I finally have a dress belt, which I was really lacking in my collection. You just slide this on here and put this in the hole and that is how you attach it. This is how the belt looks done up and I think it just looks so beautiful and dressy and this can even go with other branded items because I took a more simple buckle. And I said I would like to look at shoes and those are upstairs. So we made our way upstairs. They had a great display of shoes and I saw a couple things I liked. So I asked for any Oasis or Oran in bright colors in a 39.5, which is my usual size. And then they also had some loafers that I liked. So I asked for a specific loafer. She went to the back to go collect those. When she came back, she had three boxes. She set them down and she said, actually, I have a client who's here. So um, I'm gonna let you finish shopping with my colleague. And she passed us on to another essay. I thought this was very strange, especially since we waited for over an hour and we were only with her at this point probably less than 15 minutes. That's just not a typical like Hermes experience or I've never experienced that really at a luxury store. It ended up working out great because the guy was really super nice. So he opened up this small box first and they had one pair left in this color and it was in my size and I was shocked because it was exactly what I asked for. It's these yellow beauties. They are absolutely stunning and perfect for summer. Again, the small heel, these are the Oasis style. And then he opened up the other two boxes and they were like these colorful platforms. And I was like, I think maybe she brought me, you know, someone else's shoes or something because I didn't ask for these. I told him about the loafer that I had asked for, which she didn't even bring out. So I think she was very distracted that she had, I guess it was a regular client coming in. So that brings us to the second pair of shoes I ended up taking from the Munich store. This pair is something I think that is so classic. No, I'm not usually a neutrals girl, but in a loafer, I only have a pink and I really wanted a gorgeous white one for summer. And I will have to say I was maybe manifesting a little bit because I really want a release bag and this is the release hardware. So eventually in the future, I know I want to try to get that bag. So this will build into my eventual collection really well. So I told him I would take this pair and then I asked him for any swimwear that he had, preferably a one piece in like the scarf types of prints. I saw some online. I showed him a picture of what I was looking for. So he went in the back and he was gone for a little while and then he came back out with five bags in his hands. Like, I'm so sorry, you know, this is all we have left of swim. Like, you're actually two months late for shopping swim, which means I should have been shopping it in April. And he showed me the one one piece they had, but it was black and then the rest were two pieces and they were also like plain colors. So I said, that's okay. I, it's not really what I'm looking for. Then I said, do you possibly have any wallets? They said, follow me over to the bag section. They have one on display. So I said, I would really like, you know, this Constance wallet in this size, but more in a bright color. And he took out his phone and he looked through the options and he had two Constance wallets and they can sell the wallets to the tourists. So he said, the only colors I have are gold or I have a blue color with a red hardware. I said, you know, I was really hoping for something with gold hardware or even I'm open to the palladium hardware. And he kind of was saying, yeah, it's 
it's difficult because we don't really have a whole lot of stock right now and he even looked through the other small wallet options and he said there's just nothing in the bright colors you've asked for and I said well maybe I don't know if you have anything like in a bag and I'm looking for something in like a pink or a bright color leather bag anything like a release or a picotin I'm quite open to shape because I know that you know stock is kind of an issue this summer he said unfortunately we don't have anything like that well, as he's going through he said all I can offer you is a canvas garden party or he had like the up and down style garden party it's more of like a tall rectangular kind of a thing both of the pieces he offered me were canvas if you're a tourist and you're looking for a canvas garden party you might be able to get one in munich but he explained to me that all of the leather bags can only be offered to a tourist if there's not a single local client who's asked for that style because they get preference in the Munich store. And I said, you know, I'm just really hoping for a leather bag open to styles if you have a suggestion that maybe you have it in pink. And he was looking through his stock on his phone and you know, you could tell that he wanted to help but he just didn't have the stock and he was like, I have an iconic bag but I'm not allowed to sell it to you. I was just like, oh gutted you know like the fact that I knew that there was either a Birkin or a Kelly sitting in the back of that store in my dream like a pink color and I couldn't have it because like their rules are if you're not local they cannot sell the bag to you like he would have to get approval from his manager and he explained to me the manager only gives approval for longtime tourist clients who have been shopping with that store since before this rule was implemented and he said even German clients who have a different boutique like closer to them cannot come from so far away and get a quota bag in Munich. So if you're looking for a quota bag and that's your goal, don't even bother in Munich. And honestly, I would say, you know, unless you're just happy with any bag at all in canvas, then it's not really worth trying and going in to get a bag. Like just go shopping if you want to shop for some other things. And I really appreciated that he explained everything to me and that, you know, he was very nice about it. And I prefer that over than just, you know, we don't have any stock. And he did, you know, offer me what he could offer me, but it, he knew it wasn't what I was looking for. And, you know, I was just honest with him and I was just like, you know, I was really looking for something in leather. It wasn't like it soured the relationship. I still got his business card after. And if I do go back to Munich, I would definitely go back to shop with him. So the last thing I picked up in Munich was this little like lip tint. So it's just a really soft wash of color. It's in the color, oh gosh. I'm just gonna give you the color number. The color number is 30. So that was my little haul from Munich. I was super happy with my experience there. I really appreciated how nice the second essay was that I worked with and how he just explained everything and he really tried to help. Berlin concession inside of their department store and we all know that the department store concessions are not the place to really try to get a bag. So I wasn't going in expecting much. I was just still chasing a couple of wish list items. The concession is open so you can hear and see everything going on in the store and I waited in line for about 20 minutes. Long story short, they had nothing on my wish list. But the funny thing here is that like, I realized why they get annoyed with Americans because there was this mother and her two teenage daughters waiting like there's one person in front of me and then that went in like the first thing out of her mouth was like, do you have any purses? Not like, hi, how are you? And I was just like, oh God. And, and the whole time she was in front waiting, she was like talking really loud to her daughters about this bag and that shopping at Hermes. Don't be like that. Like treat your essays like humans, have good manners, say hi, how are you? How's your day going? You know, make a little small talk. And when they ask how they can help you, then start giving your list. Also call them handbags, call them bags. Like. I know purse is a word used in the US, but purses in Europe actually mean your wallet, like, or where you put your coins, like that's what a purse is. And your bag is actually like called a handbag or a bag, not a purse. Her daughters with her just ended up trying on some click clack bracelets. They didn't buy anything and left. I got that same essay. I just felt like I needed to be overly nice and show that like not all Americans are like that when they come and shop because it was just like one of those things that like with videos about, you know, what you should and shouldn't do in Hermes stores, it's like, the number one thing people say is like, just don't be demanding and don't be like rude and don't just straight up walk in and ask for a bag. So I just wanted to mention that like, this is why people go over this in their videos because 
people do it like people go and shop like that the last city in Europe was Amsterdam and I actually went to three stores in Amsterdam I first went to the concession that they have inside of their department store there and there there was no waiting it wasn't much stock of a whole lot but I did manage to find a little twilly that was on my wish list and the essay was super nice like she was like, you know, um, maybe you can try the main store. She even gave me the address to the store. She was just so nice and so pleasant and like apologetic that there wasn't any stock of anything I asked for. So this is the Twilly that I got. Let's see if it'll focus. It's like this beautiful print nice and summery and I love that it has little Hermes boxes on it I just think that is so sweet I just thought this end detail with the turtle with a little box on his back was so cute and like these little boxes on the other side that it would look really adorable like hanging off of a bag I think that it's only worth like popping in there if you're doing other shopping in that department store but otherwise the store didn't have much and I did take her suggestion and I went to the main flagship store that they have in Amsterdam which is so beautiful on the outside and this is where I have probably had the worst Hermes experience I've ever had quite honestly first you wait outside there's no shade and it was an hour wait so the only thing I got from Amsterdam main store was a sunburn on my chest walk in the store finally when it's my turn and I was super optimistic because the whole time I was standing there there were like these wheelie pallets with boxes stacked. Like they were getting new stock in the store. There must have been four or five deliveries. I was like, okay, well they must be getting so much stock every day that they'll have stock of stuff. I walk in, I say hello to the SA. He apologized for the wait, which I appreciated. And he was like, how can I help you today? And so I told him a few of the things I was looking for and he said, let's start in the shoes. So we go back to the shoes. Long story short, you know, they had nothing. What I was asking for was a combination of things I saw on display and things that weren't necessarily on display, but they were like the things on the display. I would ask for something and he did, he would check his little phone to see if he had it in stock. He'd be like, no, we don't have it. And I was like, okay. Um, and he wouldn't suggest anything else. He would just like keep scrolling. Like, I don't know. He might've been checking his Instagram for all I know. And I would say, well, maybe you could suggest something similar. Maybe you have a different shoe in a similar color or you have a different style that might suit me. And he'd be like, maybe in the future we'll get something in. As much as I wanted to tell him off, I was just like, okay, well, um, the next thing on my list I was looking for was this. Maybe you have that in stock. He just would just be like, no. Like every time you check his phone, no. Like I was like, it's like when you watch a movie or a TV show and they have this like overly exaggerated, rude customer service person inside of a store. It was like that. Like he was what they made that character out of. Like that is how he answered every single question. He could not be bothered. This is the time I probably should have, you know, gone over to the person who was doing the wait list in the front and said, you know, could I please shop with someone else? I'm not having a good experience. But. I was just like, you know what, let's just keep going, let's see. I asked for the ear cuff, they had one on display, that's why I asked for it, and because it had been sold out in every other store I had asked for it. And he said, we have one on display, but we don't have it, maybe it'll come in the future. I was like, okay, well maybe you have other earrings, then uh, we might have something. Like just with this like look on his face, okay, could you possibly show me what you have please? And he was like, he brought out like one pair of those little H logo earrings and they were black. When I think the entire time I had been shopping with him, I was saying I was looking for colorful pieces. I'm not so into neutrals. He also didn't care to listen to what I was looking for, or what I liked, like, or to suggest anything that would suit me or what I would wear. This was downstairs next to the scarves. And I said, okay, well, maybe possibly, um, do you have any wallets then? Cause that's, you know, my question before I asked for bags and the wallets and bags were upstairs. Instead of saying like, oh, let's go upstairs. We can take a look at what we have. He was like, what are you looking for? And I said, well, I'm looking for like a Constance wallet in the smaller size or something similar. And he's like, no, we don't have the Constance wallet. 
And at this point, I was just so irritated and I knew there was not even a point of me asking about any bags. I just turned around and walked out the door. I didn't even say goodbye. I was just, I was so irritated and I was about to like explode on him. I was just so like unbothered and so rude. And I don't know if maybe he got, you know, not a great customer before me and they were rude to him. But like, I was super nice to him. Like, I understood that like, people are probably gonna come in here irritated because they've waited for an hour. They're probably not gonna be so nice. They're probably gonna be a little demanding and expect to get something when they've waited for so long. And I was like, you know, I don't want him to feel any of that from me. I just wanna see what I can find on my wish list. ask about the bags because the lady in the department store said, you know, try for a bag in the main store because they get more stock. It just said, no, we don't have it. Maybe in the future, like one too many times. I just left the store and you know it's not worth it don't go there it's a long wait you'll get a sunburn I had the rudest essay I've ever had and they don't really have stock of much so even though they were getting pallets and pallets and pallets of delivery boxes there I don't know what they're selling or like what that stock is but it can go one of two ways I guess maybe there was a lady there with her little picnic Kelly and she walked out of there with bags and bags of shopping so I guess if you're that kind of client they're gonna cater to you and make sure you have everything you want but if you're just in there trying to shop like a regular person they don't really care as a tourist I don't think it's worth it to go into that store at all but not to be discouraged or maybe just because I'm a glutton for punishment I decided to also try the Amsterdam duty-free store in the airport now we were rushing for our flight I didn't have much time so it was a quick pop-in essays they're always the nicest and this was no exception asked for you know any colorful shoes they didn't really have much I also asked about bags because I have been offered a garden party in a red leather there before but obviously I didn't take it because I don't wear red but they do get some colorful bags there so I thought I'd shoot my shot she said the only bag I have in the store right now is actually this black garden party on the display or the luggage pieces. I was really surprised because when I went back in the end of last year I picked up my Hermes dad sandals there and my Twilly dolls. So I got some really rare items and people were like, oh my God, I can't believe you got them there. That you can find such gems when you go through the airport store that I expected to at least find something, but they were quite bare bones. Even what was on display was a lot less than what I had seen when I had shopped there previously. Do take a chance because sometimes they get some rare items and they do get handbags. So I guess it just depends when you're flying and what you're looking for. They never get quota bags, but I was also looking for, you know, Ruli's, Picotin, Garden Party, these other types of bags. So if you're looking for those, popping into the Amsterdam Duty Free store is really worth a go. It pains me <laughs> to shop Hermes in Dubai because our prices are so much higher than Europe. It's, even before the tax back, I'll put a comparison here. I did one on my Instagram wants to show you how much you save by shopping Hermes in Europe, especially if you live in Dubai. I did the comparison for an Oran sandal, but just so you can get an idea of the percentage of what you're paying over the usual retail if you would shop it in Europe. But there were two items I was chasing all around Europe and they didn't have it, but the Mall of the Emirates store had it. And I think that's because they just renovated. Whenever Hermes renovates a store or opens a new store they always have great stock i saw more oran colors than i have ever seen before because it used to be like half the store it was it was a full wall of orans in all the colors they had the green ones they had the yellow ones they had several blues they had sparkly ones they had exotic ones they had every oran you could want except pink because i wanted pink and i didn't have pink but what i asked for and this one i kept wrapped for you guys so you can see how a box actually comes from the store this is something I have been chasing all summer here is a box and I also really wanted a bougie pool slide so this is actually rubber it's the same color as my Oran slide as well I'll pop that video up here if you haven't seen that unboxing I couldn't get it in Europe I was like you know what the fact that they have it in my size let's just pick it up so I didn't expect to go into the store I was actually running some errands with a friend and I saw that they had expanded the store so I was like oh I haven't seen the new store let's just go in and see the store I saw that they had the black pair on display I was like you know what let me just ask for the blue so I didn't make an appointment with my essay because I wasn't shopping for anything in particular oh and they did have the ear cuff there and they had it in like five colors and I don't know if the essay just didn't know how to show me how to 
put it on or I asked how you put it on she's like you just slide it on there but I slid it on there and it just slid off so I don't know if the product is for someone who has like really puffy ears or if she just didn't know how to show me how to wear it but I had to pass on it because it just fell right off my ear I didn't pick that up but I did get these and I'm super excited about them oh and after I did pick up these slides with the essay and you know I saw the ear cuff I did ask, I was like, would you possibly have any pink bags and leather? And she just said, no bags, not even, sorry, we don't have stock. What are you looking for? What type of bag? Nothing. She just literally said no bags. So if they don't want to help you with a bag, they're not going to. If they think you're a tourist, they're not giving you a bag in Dubai. Only when we went to the counter, did she ask if I had a profile with them and she did not care to help me with bags. So I got the picture. At least she was direct. I mean, she could have been a little nicer about it, but she got her point across. I picked up one other thing that I was chasing around Europe. Here's something you need to know. If you are, you know, based in Dubai, Mall of the Emirates is your local store, they have moved the makeup to its own section. So that is no longer counting with your spend with your essay. A lot of people will pop in and, you know, buy a lipstick or buy a little cosmetic just to show their face to their essays and you know keep spending with them so they don't forget about them when a bag comes in for those of you trying to get a bag in dubai which i am not i know i will never spend enough here to get an offer that's just something really good to know so i popped down to the makeup store and picked up a lipstick it's actually the one i'm wearing here is the little box it's so cute it just slides out like this and we have the little lipstick carrier now I get rid of the stupid lipstick dust bag. I do not use these. I have two other Hermes lipsticks now and what is that? Just put it in your makeup bag and be done with it. So this one I really liked as well because of the limited edition packaging. I love this more colorful packaging of course and it is the perfect pink color. This was sold out in every store I asked for it, even though it was on display in every store that I asked for it in Europe. So this color is rose, Nymphia? I'm probably saying that wrong. It's a color number 38. But this is like a juicy, like glossy almost lipstick and it's just the perfect summer. Makes your lips pink and juicy and beautiful. So I thought this was perfect. It's bougie when you pull it out. It has a nice weight to it. It's just, it's a fancy lipstick. Do you need to spend this much on a lipstick? No. I had a pink that like really suited my skin tone and the colors that I like to wear. Really happy I got it even though I know I overpaid for it because they're more expensive here in Dubai. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a long one, but I wanted it to be packed with as much helpful information as it could be. I know a lot of you are traveling this summer. I have been sharing my travels on my stories on my Instagram, so you can also join me over there if you want a little bit more real time and like smaller updates. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you got an idea of what it's like to shop in these different stores. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!